everyone. It is the 12th of May today. The 12th of May. Fabulous day. I am happy that everyone is starting to come online and we will get on with it very, very soon. So, um, we, we decided to upload onto YouTube yesterday's because I wanted to maybe do this on YouTube Live rather than Facebook. YouTube is just as bad as Facebook, but I'm just looking for ways that I can do it live that are not too complicated because like with Zoom, I have to send you out a link. I don't know who's going to be watching. So it's a little bit more complicated. And although I like Zoom as a platform, I, I'm, I'm not sure. So anyway, for now, we keep it on Facebook and we put the, um, the recording yeah, on YouTube and we'll just see how it goes with people going on to YouTube and listening to the... Uh, to the meditation and then maybe we'll move it over in a couple of weeks directly to YouTube once I figure out the whole live thing there because I'm not very technical. I have to rely on Yanni. He's quite busy at work with work at the moment so I can't always pester him all day for what my needs are. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us this morning, everyone. I'm really happy that you're here. And yes, I do talk for about 10 minutes, sometimes 15 minutes if I'm on a roll. And the reason I do that is because I'm waiting for everyone to get online and to settle. And also sometimes I'm talking about questions that have been asked of me. So I am actually honoring you. If you find me talking annoying, then you can make a cup of tea. You can do what you like. Come back when the meditation starts. If it's too much for you, Okay, so I'm just saying this because um, some people don't like it, the fact that I talk at the beginning, but I actually think that you've learned a lot from my talks in the morning and I share a lot of uh, techniques and ideas and, uh, you know, I'm helping you to incorporate new things into the meditation so that we expand. So, uh, you know, I, I feel like I'm giving good information to you that's going to help you to expand. And I'm getting really positive feedback about what's happening in your lives and how it's changing. You're opening up, really, your gifts. You're feeling calmer, feeling more goal oriented or directed, and things are starting to move in your life. So um, that's why. I do a little chat and it's also because I get stuff from spirit that they're asking me to to talk about and to uh, you know inform people about so um, that's why I do it okay and like I said if it annoys you I'm not offended by it just go make a cup of tea I can't see what you're doing just go make a cup of tea yeah so um, today, now we started doing work on the spine in our meditations and I, I got a message that that was quite an interesting thing to do because what we're doing is, um, you know how we opened the, the DNA, uh, the primary cell of the DNA and we activated the 12 uh, strand DNA? Well, it actually needs to move down through the spinal cord because the spinal cord, you know, has all the nerves and everything and it goes down into, let's say, the base of your spine. And that is also a point of creation for us because when we're first created in the womb, the spine and the heart, the first things that are um, developed in a fetus, pretty much. So... Um, if, if we can kind of activate that fluid and activate the spinal cord nervous system, then what we're doing is we're more profoundly allowing that 12-strand DNA activation that we did into our whole system. So I feel um, part of that unity consciousness 12-strand DNA thing is not about... Uh, becoming superhuman or, or anything like that. 
it's really about moving into the heart and finding connection with everything, finding that um, peace with everything. But it doesn't mean that you're not going to feel annoyed or offended by something or appalled by something because um, in, in unity there's still duality within it but it, it doesn't that doesn't mean that we're going to experience these horrible things it just means that you know you have bad days you can't be continually creating good things all the time even in unity shit happens uh, you're doing a project you miss a word when it's been printed shit happens so it's really about how you um operate within it so you don't take it personal you just say it okay this is a bump in the road i need to move forward again i just need to progress a little bit more so and and keep going and don't see it as a, a failure just see it as okay now i'm experiencing the opposite i'm experiencing duality at the moment and of course then i'm going to experience good again i'm going to be in the flow with what I'm creating. It's all about creation, but being in the flow. So you might have months or even a year that everything is flowing beautifully, and then something happens and it's not flowing so nicely, and you're challenged by it. But the challenge is within, it's not external. So it's really about finding that peace within, letting everything settle. We've all had experiences where we get shitty with the computer, shitty with something, we move away, we take a few breaths, we go for a walk, we come back and we find a solution. So it's really how you navigate the negativity that's important. Um, so that's what I wanted to share with you this morning, uh, basically that. So that's why we started doing activating the spinal cord as well, to move that the, the imprint of that primary cell down through your whole body and into your nervous system. Because I see the nervous system kind of like the electrical system of the body that actions everything, right? So um, I could be wrong, but that's how I see it, okay? So, you know, I'm not right about everything. I don't know everything. I don't profess to know everything. I just give what I learn and what I've experienced and what guidance guides me to. I don't actually give anything from guidance unless I've kind of experienced it myself and I understand it and then I share it. So even with the spinal thing, I was doing it for a few days beforehand, before I actually shared it with you. Just to see what I would feel, how it would, um, you know, react, in, how my body was going to react to it. So let's get on with our meditation. For those, I see there's some new ones, and I believe it's Julie's birthday today. So if Julie's on, happy birthday, Julie. And um, I'm wishing you a wonderful day and lots of love from everyone that you know. Lots of acknowledgement for your special day today. Okay. Um, <clears throat> remember that we're using these mudras to close our meridians down. When we are doing our breathing technique, which is activating our chi, you can use any form of activated breathing. <clears throat> so we, we activate our breathing, right? So the pumping of the breath of fire. But also you can use the Wim Hof, you can use any form of, of breath work. Then you hold your breath, you squeeze your bottom in, you squeeze in your belly, right to your back if you can. Put your neck down, use these mudras. And what you're doing is you're closing off your center so you're activating the chi in your power center. We do two rounds of that. And then on the third round of the breathing technique, we relax and we just allow the chi to run through our body. We're activating ourselves first and then we go into other areas. Okay, so let's start. You're just taking a few deep breaths. Uh, crystalline body awakening too. That's right. That's what we're doing. So <clears throat> sometimes <clears throat> we have to we have to just relax and chill. Okay, so let's just take some breaths. Mm. 
one more. Great. So now we start our breathing using our mudra. Breathing in, hold and squeeze. And release. And begin. Breathing in, hold and squeeze. And release and again Breathing in, hold and relax. Relax the shoulders, relax the body. And release. Keeping your eyes closed. Concentrating on the breath as it enters and leaves the nose. The feeling of your breath. The sound of your breath. And you can use the mantra so on the in-breath. Hum on the out-breath. In your mind, imagine, so on the in-breath, hum on the out-breath.
Good. Now on the in-breath, taking your breath, your awareness, your intention into your brain, your third eye, your pineal gland. So as you breathe in, you connect with the water inside the pineal gland. And as you breathe out, you create a ripple of light on the water that vibrates out into the room. So you breathe in, you connect with the water in the pineal gland, you breathe out, you imagine a ripple of light going out into the room. Good. And now on the out breath, you're filling your brain with light. You're breathing in, you're connecting with the water. And as you breathe out, we imagine, you sense, you feel, you intent, your brain filling with light. Creating new neurological pathways and synapses. And as you fill up your brain with light, I'd like you to think of an image that you would like for yourself, how you see yourself. The image of being strong, the image of being loving and kind. What image do you want to place of yourself in your brain to wake your brain up, to attract the experiences that create that image? But just as you're filling the brain up, imagine there's a little version of you in your brain and you're seeing that version of you exactly what it would look like with those attributes, whether it's acknowledgement, strength, love and kindness, maybe it's a partnership, how you'd feel in a partnership, perhaps it's freedom. I want you to just spend a moment visualizing yourself and feeling what it feels like. Good, and now just for a moment, as the brain is filled up with light and you can see this image of yourself, imagine that you're sending some of that love and that light down into your spinal cord, 
starting at the brain, passing through the neck, and down, right down to the very bottom of your spine. As if you're going to take three breaths, breathing in, connecting with the light and the water in the pineal. Breathing out, filling up the brain and sending that light down into the spinal cord. And again. And again. Good. Now imagine that tiny version of you is walking into a small lift inside your mind, your brain. And using your breath, you're going to direct the lift down into your space of your heart chakra. So you breathe in, you connect with that small version of you inside the lift. And as you breathe out, you send the lift down through your head. Breathing in, connect and down into your throat now. Breathing in, connect, and down into the heart chakra. The lift door opens and you walk down the corridor into the space of your physical heart. And I'd like you to take your eyes, your breath, your awareness, your intention down to your physical heart and witness that version of you in the space of the heart and as you breathe in together you connect and as you breathe out you create a vortex of love and light and peace a vibration that vibrates out into the room from your heart. So breathing in, connect, and as you breathe out, creating the vortex from the heart, spreading it out into the room, taking your eyes, your breath, your awareness down to your heart, activating the magnetic aspect of yourself with your breath. Good. Now you're going to take that love, the light, the peace, and you're going to direct it from your heart chakra. Using your breath, you're going to take it down through your body and into the earth and connect with the crystalline grids of Mother Earth. So you breathe into the heart. And as you breathe out, you use your breath to send that energy down through your body. Push it down. Breathing in and then down through your legs. Breathing in and down through your feet and into the earth. Connecting with the crystalline grids and activating them with your love, your light and your peace. 
Now taking your awareness, your breath, your intention to your feet. And imagine that you're breathing in and out through your feet. As you breathe in, you draw in the energy of Mother Earth, connecting with her crystalline grids. And as you breathe out, you send down your vibration to join with her and to vibrate out across the planet. So you're creating a rhythm of breath as you breathe in. Mother Earth breathes in. As you breathe out, Mother Earth breathes out. And there's this beautiful synergy between you and Mother Earth. Breathing in and out. Perfect harmony through your feet. And your feet become like magnets on the earth. They may feel heavy. They may heat up. They may tingle or vibrate as you breathe in and out. And as you create this sacred union, the prime creators of this world gather around you, the divas, the fairies, the pixies, the gnomes, the tutisanans, the leprechauns, the little ones, the elements of earth, fire, air, water and ether gather around your feet now. You're going to spend a moment communicating with them, thanking them for all the water, the air, the earth, the plants, the trees, everything that you have, everything that you possess is a prime creation, co-created by these beautiful beings. And should you choose at this moment, you can ask these beings to help you with your home, with your land, with any projects that you're working on, to bring about the balance of the elements. To activate unity in that space. I'll just give you another moment to do that if you need to. Good. And any time that you choose to communicate with these beings, just go to your feet. Activate your heart first. Go to your feet. Breathe in rhythm with Mother Earth. Call them in and have a conversation. So 
So now we're going to take our awareness, our breath, our eyes, our intention up to the crown chakra, the top of your head. Breathing in, connecting with your crown chakra and as you breathe out, imagine that you're creating this tiny vortex in your crown chakra that starts to spin around and around. For women, this spinning, this turning is anti-clockwise. For men, it's clockwise. So just imagine it spinning around and around, becoming activated. And we become aware that as we activate the crown chakra, we're going to send a ball of love and light from us up into the universe. And that ball is searching for home. And home is represented by a golden light that can look like a vortex, a ball, a lake even. And it may be associated with a planet, a galaxy, an interdimensional reality, however it's home for you. And as you activate your crown chakra, home begins to call you. It begins to lead you and guide you there. So using your breath, you breathe in, you activate the crown chakra. As you breathe out, you send out a small ball of light that represents you up into the room. And you can feel a slight pressure as that ball of light moves up very quickly using your breath, breathing in. And as you breathe out, sending the ball of light through the roof of the building you're in. You breathe in, you connect again. And then on the exhale, you're sending it up past the trees. Very quickly it goes now. Breathing in and out into the sky, through any clouds. And that golden, golden light is calling you, it's guiding you, it's leading you home now. As you breathe, you start to feel excited as you exhale and move it further up now into the outer atmosphere of Earth. Breathing in, connect with your light. Breathing out, pop it out into the universe. And as that aspect of you is out in the universe, you look around. You see the planets, the stars, the galaxies the Milky Way, you see everything. It's vast, unlimited, powerful universe. It's in constant movement. And that constant movement creates energy. And that energy is part of you. So just spend a moment to feel that energy connecting with you, building up your frequency. And now the golden light is calling you, leading you, guiding you home. As you use your breath to move you into the golden light. You start to breathe as one with this vibration of home. Breathing in the light, exhaling. As you exhale, you're, you're merging your energy with this beautiful golden light. And as you do so, you start to become aware of your spiritual ancestors gathering around you and those that you love, your guides and all the councils you're associated with. The white and the blue councils, the brown and the green councils, the red and the purple councils start to gather around you in holy circle in this sacred place of home. 
cosmic police that guard and protect the universe. The Palladian emissaries of light, the Molkasidic Brotherhood of light, the Arcturians, the Intergalactic Council of Light that represents all nations. The Ancient Ones, the Lords of Karma, the Time Keepers, the Angelic Realms from Cherubim to Seraphim, and all those that you most connect with, those that you vibrate with, that you work with, Jesus Christ, Buddha, Kuan Yin, Mary, Saint Germain, they all come in and they gather around you. You're going to have one minute to communicate with them, get to know them a little bit better. And the time starts now. Good. and understanding that you are the ambassador for all nations. And you're going to bring their imprint that resides in this golden light down into the earth to co-create with you. As you breathe in, you connect with the golden light, thanking them for being part of this co-creation. And as you breathe out, you draw that golden light with you down through the universe. Using your breath to draw it down, breathing in, down into the Earth's atmosphere now, moving very quickly. Already you can feel the pressure on the top of your head as it gets closer and closer, moving down through the clouds into the sky, using your breath down past the trees, down into the room that you're in, and then down into your crown chakra, through your body, through your feet and into the earth. And now you are unity consciousness, Mother Earth, Father Sky, you, you are one. And you meet at the space of your heart chakra, the neutral chakra that is neither male nor female. And from here, you're going to activate that vortex of love, light and peace. And as you do, the 5D grids will open up before you. And you'll walk inside the 5D reality that you've been co-creating in your street, in your town, on the planet. 
And as you walk into that 5D reality you've been creating, you activate your senses. It's important to feel this presence, to feel the harmony, to feel the peace, to feel the integrity, the happiness, the joy, the safety and security, the health, the vibrancy of what it is to live in harmony with Mother Earth, with each other, with animals, with beings from other worlds. You are creating that imprint every single day and that imprint every day is beginning to create a physical reality and that physical reality is getting stronger and stronger which is why 4D is collapsing. The truth is being revealed. So today when you walk in, bring in anyone that you feel you would like to bring in to activate their awareness around this. Welcome them into your reality. Share with them your knowledge, what it looks like, what it feels like to live in peace. Teach them. Touch their hearts with your knowledge. And you'll have three minutes to feel and visualize this and welcome others in to co-create this. And the time starts now, breathing into your heart, expanding your vortex, stepping into the grids now.
good and holding that image, that vibration, that feeling around you. Taking your awareness to your feet, breathing in and out once again in harmony with earth, grounding your manifestation, grounding it into the earth. Giving thanks for everyone who co-created this today for the earth. When you're ready, you can wiggle your toes, your fingers, flutter your eyelids, and very gently open your eyes. It's great. You did really well. I felt that really strong today. I wanted to, to just acknowledge you all because this is quite an advanced meditation. You know, what we're doing is, is not something simple. Normally when you meditate, you go into your breath, you go into silence, and you, you relax your body and you really empty your mind of all your thoughts, really, and it's about finding peace and then receiving answers. But what you're doing here is like psychic aerobics. So you're going, you're using different energies, you know, you're connecting with the earth and all the energies, the prime creators of the earth. You're opening up parts of yourself, activating vortexes and psychic energy within yourself. And then you're going up to the universe. So I, I ground first. There's a reason for that. If we go up here first, which we do in a lot of meditations, we lose the ability to manifest actually because we're not grounded with it and it all stays up here. So then we go and we're connecting with all these other energies and each day you're, you're, you may be connecting with a different vibration. Then you're bringing it down and you're opening up the vortexes of the planet and you're imprinting them. This is huge. And so it's like psychic aerobics. And of course you're going to feel tired when you first start doing this. I know that we have some newbies here today. That's why I explain things a little bit more. When I see there's new names, I want to help people. So if you're used to these meditations, please have patience some days because I do need to say some things to people who are new so that I encourage them to keep going and not think, oh my God, this is too hard. I need to go. <laughs> you know, we want this to grow. We want this to become something that people imprint every day what they want and not what governments and big businesses are saying that we want. So I congratulate you because I know this is not a light meditation and I know it takes a lot of your energy as well. But I also know that you will receive the rewards from that because you're growing in your own way and you're learning to connect and one day this will finish and you'll go off with all these new abilities, new techniques and, and new ways of seeing the world and, and not feeling powerless that you cannot create the world that you want. So this is why I, I'm, I'm so grateful to all of you because I know it's not an easy meditation to do. So please have patience with yourself. If you find yourself wandering off, if you do all of that, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're in the energy and eventually you become the energy. You know, so so don't beat yourself up. Don't give yourself a hard time. You're doing really, really well. So I thank you for today and I hope to see you again tomorrow. This will go on YouTube as well. So if you know people that are not on Facebook and they'd like to participate, they can go on to YouTube and um, listen to the repeat 
and eventually I might move this over to YouTube. We're just looking at it at the moment, okay? So have a fantastic day. Thank you for your time, your energy and your patience. Bye for now.